The Heart of Dixie is an entertainment company located out of St. George, known for their large events. What what we do, um, I mean, we've been doing it for three years. We've got a brand and a reputation of producing some really good events. Um, I think that what we do has more of an appeal than going to a dance at say uh, and hanging out with the dean on campus. Um, our our events are a little bit more relaxed. The homecoming dance, for example, like that, people say it's going to be a homecoming dance, you know, and everything falls with that that you just assume. But with, I guess, Heart of Dixie events, they lay out every single detail that they're going to do. They say we have a huge bonfire, we have seven performers, huge stage. It's just more inviting. Dixie State University and the Heart of Dixie do not have a history of seeing eye to eye. I know the university does have a code of conduct that they have to adhere strictly to, and anything outside of that, whether it be Heart of Dixie contributing to it or not, it's it's a tough situation to meet every single checklist with such a big event. When we started out early on a few years ago, uh, we would actually go through the campus and put flyers on all the cars, and we got in a lot of trouble for that. Um, and I think we pushed it a little bit further than we should have, and it's something that I feel bad about. But at the same time, um, we were trying to get the word out to the college demographic. It's our, that's our kind of main focus is, is the college ages demographic, the young adult demographic in Southern Utah. Like that's, I mean, that's like the biggest years of your life. Like when you're kind of growing and going out and partying and, and you know, and we're not, we're not here to say, oh, let's all go out and party and I'll get drunk and, and use a bunch of drugs and stuff like that. Like if you drink, that's your thing. You know, you can, and, and we do an event that you can drink at, that's your thing. We don't want people on drugs at our event. We don't condone that. We don't allow it. If, if we find it, we take care of it. We want people to have fun. We want people to go out and just have, you know, one of the best nights of their life instead of having to just sit at your house and watch Netflix and chill or something. I don't know. <laughs> Reporting for Dixie Sun News, I'm Ryan Huskins.